Putnam Trail is not a nature path, but rather an abandoned, century-old industrial railroad line littered with embedded creosote-soaked railroad ties which leach carcinogens into the, the soil, including breeding and nesting areas. The so-called widening is due to the removal of the uh, rotting railroad ties, along with the invasive species, which are really unfettered weeds, that have cropped up in between the ties, alongside the mud path that was tramped, uh, trampled by the pedestrians who have gone through there. Two, 400 trees are not being cut down, seven are, five of which are already dead. Parks will be planting 420 trees. Three, while asphalt does raise the temperature under a blazing sun, it doesn't when it is in the shade. The opponents tout that they have over 2,100 signatures on a petition opposing paving gathered in nearly two years. Our advocates have gathered over 1,400 signatures in just over five months. Paving this short one and a half mile segment of the old putt will have little or no impact on the ecology. Moreover, it will connect 45, over 45 miles of beautiful, historic, tree canopied Putnam Railroad Trail directly to the number one subway line and via the Marshall Greenway path to the number four subway line. This will avail the families of millions of New Yorkers to many miles of clean, safe, car-free bicycling. And when the portion of the old putt south of Van Cortlandt Park is eventually completed, it will avail all New Yorkers, city and non-city residents alike, to miles of Harlem River waterfront and eventually to Long Island Sound. We ask you to share the trail, to share the Putnam Trail. Thank you.